Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, we are going to be talking about Godot for consoles officially being released by W4 Consoles. Because as you can see, you can actually read this in the latest news. So basically, you may remember that W4 Games is a new company created by Godot Engine Veterans. And this was actually something like two years ago. Finally, the main aim of this company is to basically provide console support, console builds for Godot. And now, two years later, we do have W4 consoles officially released. So, the official launch of W4 consoles, our one-click solution for Nintendo Switch and Xbox Series X and S, has just been released. And they have also opened the Early Access program for the PlayStation 5 port. So indeed this means a lot, because previously you had uh, two options. You, you would basically not publish ever your Godot project in any console, or you would have to hire some kind of third-party service. But the problem with those uh, third-party service is that you had uh, to go through a lot of things to actually get your game published. You have to pay a lot of money. And that also then you may have a lot of problems when doing the build for the console. Maybe the input wouldn't work. Maybe there would be some specific bug. Um, but well, with this one-click solution that they are providing here... This enables to do everything or, well, to try to use the Godot Engine Editor on your PC as much as possible, to test your game as much as possible, and to reduce as much as possible the number of bugs, etc. that you may have uh, when you port your game for consoles. So the idea is that you get everything integrated inside of Godot, making all the process much, much easier, straightforward, and easier to debug. As it is stated here, with one click development, you can have your Godot 4.3 Plus projects running and modified on the Nintendo Switch or Xbox Series X and S. Remember, right now there is no official support for PlayStation 5, but well, they have already opened the uh, access program, so probably in a couple of weeks, months, we are going to also be having that. So the solutions. The solution avoids uh, mostly all the usual headaches of porting with other third party platforms. And how to get started with all this is quite simple. As you can see, we only have to follow three steps. We first have to submit the application. Then you will go through uh, some verification um, to ensure co compliance with the platform regulation. Basically, that there are no problems with your profile. And finally, you will just receive your invoice and you will have to pay. And if we go to the uh, product page, here we see a lot of information about uh, W4 consoles. Let's go over some of the key features of W4 consoles, basically the multi-platform support that we have already discussed for Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5, and also the optimization that it provides inside of Godot, making the workflow much, much easier. Also, you're going to be doing this, you're going to actually be able to do this uh, using C Sharp. You will always have full access uh, to the source code, so you will always have the, the most control over the development process. As this is a solution integrated from the Godot engine, you're going to be able to actually take advantage of all the Godot engine features, the physics system, the rendering, input handling, etc. By using W4 Games, you will also have access to achievements, trophies, and cloud saves for each specific console. You will always get the latest stable SDK to make sure that your game also is played uh, is always played well uh, because it complies with the platform requirements always. And lastly, you get access to a private repository that will help you that only the people that you authorize is going to be able to work on your console projects. And also quite interestingly, here on the right, we can see this picture in which literally all the ports is being, is being done directly on the Godot engine. So this makes the process much, much easier. And this is even showcased once again inside of this other section. We also have here the pricing plans, okay? You can take a screenshot here or go to a website and visit it yourself. But well, the, the amount of money they, that they are charging, I think that it is... Um, it is quite well, okay, I don't know what you think. So we have uh, three packs, Starter, Pro, and Enterprise. Um, 
So if you have less than uh, 30 um, team members, you're going to be able to, uh, depending on other things, to use the starter or pro plan. Because basically, if you are making less than, than this amount, you can use the starter version. And if you are making more than this amount, you have to uh, pay this version that, as you can see, uh, it is much, much expensive. Much more expensive, sorry. Uh, well, then enterprise for uh, large companies, most of these things are custom customly made for each company. So we don't really have a lot of information on that. And it's probably not a section that you're going to actually be in. Um, unless that you are working on a company. So uh, to have your game on just one console platform, you will have uh, to pay $68 monthly or 8800 yearly. And well, in the pro version, you can only pay yearly $4,000. And well, like this, the numbers still uh, continue to increase until reaching, for example, $10,000 for three console platforms for the pro version. In all of these, you always get access to the source code as well as to ongoing updates. And here we see a button of purchase application. So Nintendo Switch and Xbox Series X, X Sports are ready for purchase now. So if you want, you can uh, click over there on purchase and you can start filling up your information over here. And also over here, you can join the early access program uh, for PlayStation 5. Okay, so once again here, you can fill up uh, another form and lastly, we have here some frequently asked questions section. Uh, for example, what version of Godot are your ports compatible with? As we already saw, 4.3 and higher. Can I code in C sharp? And it is currently on beta. It should still work in the near future, but well, they are still vali validating the last thing, so we may need to wait some a uh, little time. Something also that I think is worth is worth mentioning is the fact that for now they are not going to be providing ports for PS4 and or Xbox One. You don't have to pay any kind of revenue share. And they also state here quite clearly that they are still able to change these prices in the future. So yes, indeed, these are amazing, amazing news for the GoDot engine. And by the way, they are always keeping this project quite updated, the thing of W4 games. Uh, because as you saw, this project is something that has been existing for something like two years. But well, throughout this time, we didn't really have like lots of things going on. Of course, they were um, doing these things that today we can't see. But well, the thing is that for two years, we didn't, we didn't see uh, much stuff going on. But well, right now... Not only do we have official console ports, but also we have this new thing, W4 Cloud, that I'm going to be covering um, in a future video. But well, if you want to know the, the very basics, it is not uh, as complex or as revolutionary as uh, W4 consoles. Um, so basically, this is a, a new feature that will allow you to simplify your multiplayer development inside of the Godot engine. And the, the cool thing about this is that it provides a user-friendly web interface. Um, and of course, as W4 consoles, this integrates quite easily inside of the engine. Um, so there was a screenshot over here um, demonstrating how this works. So it is amazing because here you can see, for example, matchmaking, like the, your game servers, databases and more stuff. So it is quite, uh, quite interesting. Of course, you still have to pay for this. But if you are actually creating a serious multiplayer game inside of the Godot engine, this is something that can actually be quite interesting. Um, but well, this is something that I'm going to be covering in a separate video, but what I want to um, to demonstrate here is the fact that W4 Games indeed, at least for me, when everything started, like, I, it was every, everything was uncertain um, because we didn't have much things going on, but well, right now, in a matter of two days, we've got two massive news, okay? Uh, so I really look forward to seeing more stuff released by W4 Games, unfortunately, more and better things uh, for Godot, okay? So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.